What's up, all you good fellow fly guys? You know who it is. The cat in the hat. Your resident fly guy. Your chief architect, Michael Andrew of StyleArchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to the styling thing. And welcome to another discourse and dress, another expression for your ensembles and some sonnets for your style. And motherfucking happy new year to you. Yeah! I apologize that I did not bring in the new year with you last or two weeks ago, but I'm here now. It's a happy belated new year. It's still new. We're still in the month of January, so I'm still showing you some love. Now, I hope that you guys had a very safe new year and that you took out 2016 the way that you want to leave 2017. That's always been like a, an ongoing tradition and, and thought process inside of my head that I always leave one year and bring it in that new year the same way that I want to leave it out. And so for me, I initially started out my night uh, writing and then got an invite from my business partner to go to a event and I was tentative to go but I was really glad that I actually did because we had a lot of fun. I brought in the new year with a new team, an amazing group of people who are going to assist me in creating some dyna dynamic content for you guys but also that are going to teach me and build me up and continue to support me in these endeavors to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to your styling thing. Now, just kinda wanna take you on a, a quick story and we're gonna talk about three things that are going to help you enrich your ensembles and your expression to make sure that you're fully representing who you are. Now, I know it seems like we may be taking a few steps back and we've been talking about some tactical things and trust that we got all those things in the works for you, but it's a new year. And I know that there's a lot of people who are saying and, and really believing that they are going to make steps to make a change. But here's the interesting thing. The more things change, often the more things stay the same. And if you've been watching me on any one of my social media platforms, and I love dialoguing with you guys, a lot of times what we end up talking about are things that we actually have no intention of changing. Now, I'm not talking about the superficial things, your weight loss or, you know, the, these wonderful health uh, health goals to, to eat better or to stop smoking or to begin you know working out or doing those practical types of things that's a beautiful thing and if you break that you always have the opportunity to renew each day by fixing those things even with me you know saying that I want to post every week I missed my first week so I'm making up for it this week so just so you guys know you will be getting two uh, two videos this week for me making up for last week and we will be right back on track but those are practical things but when it comes to who you are and what you represent you've been that way all your life and it's unfortunate that we've been told through society maybe even through our parents or through the adults in our lives when we were children that somehow that wasn't good enough that somehow we needed to be something that we're not and so when it comes to our own personal style we often are afraid to simply represent who and what we are and we are continuing to create when it comes to our style story. That is why my focus is helping you guys feel confident, feel secure, and feel assured and convicted in your own character. It hasn't changed and it won't change. You were born to be the great person that you are, so be fucking great. So I wanted to just post something for you. When 12 o'clock hit, brought in the new year with these wonderful people we're having a great time around 12 30 i noticed that everybody was sitting down and it was time for me to go for two reasons i had some obligations that i was committed to at least working on while i was uh, at home again i was writing before i departed so i said i'm gonna go back and finish my writing i want to take in 2017 just the way that I'm leaving it out, creating something new and creating something that will be able to serve you. So I went back home and I started writing and it made me think about how often we say we're going to change something without putting the necessary structure into 
our lives that will allow us to get to where we want to be. And I'm reading a wonderful book called Triggers. Now the book Triggers is focused on helping you develop your own awareness of what triggers you to do behaviors, whether good or bad, and how to make sure that you're taking control of those things. So I wanted to focus on your style today, of course, and help you with asking three questions to yourself every morning before you step out the door. So the first question that you should ask yourself when you're getting dressed in the morning is, am I doing my best to make sure that I am presenting the very best of who I am? Now, what does that mean? That means when you're waking up, instead of you throwing on that wrinkled shirt, if it needs to be ironed, you're taking the time to iron it. Better yet, the night before, you may even want to make sure that all of your dress shirts or all of your work shirts for the week are ironed and make sure that those things are already taken care of. Make sure that your sweater uh, looks presentable, it's clean, it doesn't have any stains on it. So that you are making sure that you're presenting your best self. I know guys find themselves in a rush in the day and so because they're running late, they make, sh they make sure that they get to work on time but their presentation is off. And that may be the very day that your boss is coming in and asking you to present or asking you about something and you look slovenly or you don't look like you're put together or you don't look like you're about business. And that can be that can be costly for you, both financially and potentially socially. So why not make sure that when you wake up, even if you're running late, to make sure that you are always in the mindset of making sure that you are intentional about putting your best foot forward. The second question that you should ask is, is this ensemble an expression of who I am? So if you're putting on an ensemble and you are following said rules that everybody says that you're supposed to follow, and it's not a representation of you if it doesn't resonate with you, listen to it, pay attention to it, wrestle with it, and really try to figure out why that is not resonating with you, why that doesn't make you feel like you're your best. Now what that may end up doing, and I hope I don't open a can of worms here, but what that may be alluding to is that if this is uniform for your, your job, maybe you're not in the right profession. If this is the, the space that you're trying to get, you know, when you're getting ready to go out, maybe you're in the wrong environment. If this is the look that you're putting on to impress a young lady, Maybe that's not the lady for you. No person, no thing, and no situation should ever keep you from being exactly who you are. So if you ask yourself, is this a fair, not even a fair, is this the best representation of who I am and what I'm looking to represent? Then you are going to be that much more impactful when you step out. The third and last question that you're going to ask yourself before you step out of the door is, Am I communicating the very best of who I am stepping out? Now, I'm not asking you to, to be in the most expensive clothes. I'm not telling you that you need to be in the coolest or most, most fashionable clothes. But when you woke up, you ironed your clothes, you made sure that that ensemble was an expression of who you are, you are now stepping into a world that is going to make a snap judgment. As you know, I've said that we often judge books by their covers. Now, when you're stepping out and you ask yourself, am I communicating the very best of who I am? Don't expect everybody to get it. Don't expect everybody to be cool with it. Don't expect everybody to like it. You are art. You're an artistic expression. You are this story that is composed by your thoughts and by your energy, and it may not be for everybody. And that's perfectly fine, as long as it's a representation of who you are. So I'm challenging you for the next 30 days to ask yourself those three questions and to scale yourself from one to 10. If you can give yourself a 10 on a day-to-day -day basis, or you can work up to giving yourself a 10 on a day-to-day -day basis, I can guarantee you that you're gonna feel more confident, you're gonna be more charismatic, and you're gonna be more convicted in your character and in telling your story. As you know, our focus here at Style Architects is building the conscious awareness of who you are, constructing your wardrobe so that you can communicate it to the world. Make sure that you leave me some comments in the comment box and let me know how committed you're gonna be, and you never know what may happen. Uh, again, we have some wonderful things coming down the road for 2017. I'm working with an amazing team, as I said before, and we're going to be doing some really great things. I also will be starting, as promised, the Boyfriend Material series with a wonderful co-host who happens to be one of my team members. So you can definitely check that out. But beyond that, share this challenge with your friends. 
I challenge you also to challenge your friends to be better, to dress better, not for any superficial reasoning, but so that they can feel confident, they can feel more energized and more charged. Once you dress your best, I guarantee it's going to change the entire way that you look at yourself. And over the course of the next 51 weeks, we will continue to help you build on that knowledge so that you can fully express who you are. That is my goal for this year, to leave every guy that watches this better than he came. So I appreciate you as always. Continue to be great because you already are great. And don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you should always dress to express. I'm out. Peace.